Come on, I need one of you. I don't want to use the expensive arrows, I want to use the cheap arrows. To anger one of you. And there we go. He's been separated from his friends. Cannot jump too high, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my uh, spectral wolves over here and attack it while it's trying to return. Since I now know that they can't jump too high, that means I can just like not need to increase it that much. I can just I believe they're just like four large, so I can like do this and then split them up. That actually works remarkably well. And since I'm fighting them one by one, their damage is lower than mine. Sorry about not disconnecting on uh, Steam. Ooh, his health is getting a bit low there. Can't really see a Fiomia to kill, but there is a bunch of like uh, that is around. So meat isn't a problem. We'll just kill a couple dodos. However sad that sounds, we're gonna kill a couple of dodos and then return with enough meat to quickly heal them up, just enough so that we can win this fight. Next fight is probably going to be. A little bit easier because he's now level 40 as far as I believe. See, this one was a level 40, that was the problem. Yeah, it's only level 16. Never nearly good enough. Let's up that damage a little bit. Let's see, will you chase me if I shoot you? Come on. Ah, I think he is, uh... He has fear. He's fearing me. Good. He can die with his friends. There we go. Ooh, we got a bit overweighed. Can't jump. Or at least we don't need to jump. Just do that. It's the fun thing about these wolves. You don't need to jump. But it's a bit slow. So I'm gonna bring the Argentavis here and then just load up the Argentavis, bring it back using that. Or just grab him with the Argentavis, because that'll work. Let's see how. Ooh, halfway tamed on a gargoyle. That's pretty nice. That's very nice, in fact. Come on, you can do it. Argentavis, you can do it. Wait, I can't pick him up? Is he too heavy? Yeah, it would appear that he's too heavy. So we'll have to lighten him up a little bit. Or just lighten me up a little bit. Because I do have a lot of resources on me. A lot of arrows. A lot of other things. Bones. Ah, metals. No, not, not the magic of wood. Let's put this in here, this in here, this in here. No, the, these as well. This in here, this in here, this in here. 
I'll work out a proper sorting system later. Yes, that's where I'm gonna put most of my arrows. There we go, that should help. Hopefully I will be able to find him at full speed to over here. Hopefully the Fiomia doesn't push me off. But she didn't. So it's a good sign. And we are not over encumbered. Even better. Now the thing is, I haven't seen one level, uh, one, one creature with a level over 100. Like, not at all. So I don't know if that's possible, but I'm assuming it is. And let's see how much of this level meat did this guy eat already. A decent amount. I'm not even close to waking up yet. It's good. Now, what will I do next? I need to go mining as well because I need more sulfur and things, but for right now everything's still relatively fine. Inventory, let's up his health a little bit. Because Argentavis isn't the strongest flyer. But I was actually hoping that I could use like a weapon well mounted on Argentavis. Because that would have been really nice. Let's go try and find some more gem spiders. Ooh, there's Argentavis low on health. He's not maneuvering me. Come on. Die. Die, fellow Argentavis. There we go. Much better. One thing I do want to try is actually grabbing that uh, meat drive there. Can I not grab that? It appears I cannot. Ooh. Oh, thigh meat. That Argentavis has locked on to me. Luckily for me, I've got a lot of stamina. So I can just do is fly away from him. But he is, if he isn't, just continuing for a bit long. Okay, just gave up. Okay, is dead. Corgo, I believe, uh, should be able to take care of the uh, Argentavises. Not quite sure yet. We'll have to see how powerful he is. Because he is only a level 9, so. Can't be too powerful. Gray, for now. Placeholder name. And we can ride him even though we do not have a saddle. That is always good. It was good when you find out that you can ride something without a saddle. I might need to open it up at the top because I can't get out anywhere else. But this is going to mean that I can't really tame anything in there unless I reclose it. But this thing's fast. This is some serious speed. And it's not losing any stamina. This thing's really quick. Look at its speed. Let's try him against this Urgent Tavis. He does crazy amounts of damage. Argent Tavis is on half health. Oh no, I don't want to lose him against the T-Rex. Come on, Argent Tavis, run. It's powerful enough to beat up Argent Tavis. 
Oh, come on, really? Another T Rex? How many more T Rex am I going to encounter while trying to kill one single Argentavis? Okay, so I'm going to need to land. This one did not end up too well. I must admit, this, this one was kind of bad. I need to do them to a lower, lower level area. What? This time I was already back? I don't know, I'm used to uh, Grondons and Argentavises now. Come on. I can actually hunt Argentavis. Well, previously I would have just hunted Torondons. Now I can hunt both. And Argentavis is actually give uh, thigh meat. Which is uh, prime meat, essentially. Quickly land here, if I can. Or just stamina. What? The stamina is ridiculous. And it's full. Maybe I can kill a unicorn with this. No, unicorns are magical creatures. They're going to be a bit tougher than a Argentavis. They usually are. Sometimes not in health, but sometimes in damage. And other places, like this one, which can literally fly for almost forever. You hit the max height. died because he hit the max height. To quickly restore my stamina and try and go after one of these uh, Pegasus. Try and get a horn. This may not be super powerful, but it works. And it's capable of keeping up with the Pegasus. Which is really powerful. Or really, really fast. They're meant to be able to run. Hey, it's got the light magic stones. That's where I get those. That is a fairy dragon. Do not know how powerful they are. Let's quickly go check. Not that powerful, but they are quite cool. Now I can make the um, saddles for them. Come on, Pegasus. Drop a horn. Drop your horn for me. These no T Rexes land over here. Now, Axis inventory. Let's see here. Damage, damage, health, health. Come on, pick her off. Level 72. I should have a little bit more, you know, room for error. Well, not right, really room for error, but room for like dropping a horn. Kind of hard hitting it though. Because you have to sort of like get ahead of it, head back on it. This Pegasus is quite fast and their stamina. Kinda holds out. Not really easy to kill. Though one thing I would say is if, if I encountered Ghost Dragon right now, I would run. I've seen the power those things have. That's a uh, griffin. Griffins are not, uh, not fun. 
They're part of the magical bi magical forest biome. They are really powerful. Come on, Pegasus. I was not good killing a Pegasus, but I want his horn. I want to start using actual offensive magic. We land here. Keep track of which one is mine. Level 72 Pegasus. Does it actually have a have a inner AoE attack with its right click? Oh, that's wing attack. It's actually really powerful for like attacking midair. But it's using up a lot more stamina. Probably not doing as much damage either. Well, it's falling. Good, it got stuck. I'm going to end this episode just after I kill this one. I'm going to still do a bit of editing and hopefully that'll end up in under an hour. Come on, Pegasus. Give in to your anger. Not very good with looting now, is it? Let's see how quick it kills a Fium, yeah, if I can find one quickly. There's one. Cause that does not do that much damage. But the punches do. It should do a lot of damage. Wow, two punches on a Fiomia. Yeah. Not bad. So what I want to do um, for next episode is I want to start building up a little bit of a base, a little bit of expansion. But in any case, see you guys next episode. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, see you guys then. Goodbye.